I took this pill and realized, whoa, this is how life can feel. What if life won't get better for you because of them? And what if I told you there was something you could do about it? Peace Truth Tribe, if you are already a part of the tribe via Truth Tribe Public or Truth Tribe Official, if you are not a part of the tribe, welcome. I'm author, counselor, and coach Zara Harrison, helping you remember that love doesn't lie or expect you to <clears throat> live one. ZaraHarrison.com for that shop. Why? Because we are not to be a fool for love. Nope. Love is wisdom and wisdom is so healing. So over here, we do not love toxic people the same way we do healthy people. If you agree with that, please visit ZariHarrison.com slash Truth Tribe Connect to get more information about joining our tribe. I took this pill and realized, whoa. This is how life can feel. Now, it wasn't no street drug, y'all. I was prescribed a pill for depression when I was in college. And when I took that pill and I felt, whoa, life can actually not hurt every day. Life can actually feel like fresh air and blue sky and sunlight. What? That was different for somebody whose every day was dark, rainy clouds and a wet rug. Who robs you of knowing what life, true, pure, loving life is like? While you think about that, just a reminder, you can get instant Telegram notifications when you use my personal Telegram invitation link found in the description of this video. Also, before I forget, I'd like to thank a very special part of True Tribe, and that is True Tribe patrons who help me make free content and resources just like this video you're watching right now. I truly appreciate your support, Truth Tribe patrons. And I'm sure those who benefit from your giving appreciate it too. If you're watching this and that is true for you, please show it and like plus share this video to help someone else. It doesn't cost you a thing to do and your share could be someone's answer to a petition. If you'd like to support beyond a like and a share, you can visit ZariHarrison.com slash support or visit ZariHarrison.com slash shop where you can purchase some of my products in my shop. All those links again are in the description of this video. Back to the story. They prescribed me this pill for depression in college. It took away all the dark clouds. So I was chilling until the side effects kicked in. <laughs> With medicine, if something is not natural, it's gonna have some side effects. In time, the dark clouds had lifted, but it was also numbing the feelings that helped me discern. Yeah, it was a little weird. I'm like, what's in this medicine? Um, I'm gonna need my discernment. So yeah, no, we're gonna chill on that pill. Not telling you what to do about your medicine, just for me. I would like the clouds to be removed, but to also have my discernment. Did you know? that there is something out there that you can do to remove clouds and darkness and rain without side effects. <laughs> Some of us be thinking we got a chemical imbalance, something just in our wiring just ain't computing right. And it's really not necessarily something within us, but outside of us that is infecting the inside of us. What is that thing? Come to find out the inability to remove dead relationships. See, some of y'all don't really have the problem that you think you have. You just need to get away from some people because they making you crazy or depressed or anxious or hypervigilant or lonely even though you got company. Yeah, you could be lonely even around people or angry or suspicious. I mean, they just all kind of stuff going on and you think it's you. I could experience the same benefits of that pill or depression insert a pause a comma a boundary so i was online recently and i saw this post and i'm gonna read it to you the, a break from someone will either make you realize how much you truly miss and love them or how much peace you have without them why do we do this to ourselves why do we host toxic people like a hotel or something like 
it's time for some people to check out so you might need to tell them you gotta check out like your time is up because I'm not gonna host that no more. I think we're so used to being gaslit into believing that love is letting people oppress us. And when I was in the religious system, I actually thought I was glorifying the most high by letting people oppress me and abuse me. Spiritually, emotionally, physically, sexually, mentally. And then wonder why I could get a pill. Bruh. That's crazy. Wow. If I could go back. Sometimes we don't need the pill. We need the people to be removed. It ain't the pill, it's the people. Certain people, I'm telling you, I realized that I could have the same effect of that pill with no side effects that that pill would give me by removing some people. And one of the first things you can do to see who it is is start instituting some breaks and separations and pauses and commas and boundaries with some people and then see how you feel without them. It's like 2 Corinthians 11, 19 through 20. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. And it says, for you gladly bear with fools, being wise yourselves. That was sarcasm. Yes, yeah, sarcasm in the scripture. For you bear it if someone makes slaves of you, or devours you, or takes advantage of you, or puts on airs, or strikes you in the face. This is what I was doing. This is what I was doing. And I thought I was being wise because I thought that was love and I was gonna glorify Yah. But you gladly bearing with fools, for you bear it if someone makes slaves of you. We let people oppress us emotionally, spiritually. We are oppressed. Sometimes it's not a pill that you need, it's the people. Examine who is around you. Why are you hosting toxic people like you a hotel? Why are you letting people do this to you and calling it love? Driving you crazy, you going to the doctor for anxiety and depression, loneliness, fatigue, hypervigilance, and breathing problems, nervous system issues, and headaches, and migraine. All of this stuff. This quote right here that this person put up on Instagram, yeah, try to put some breaks in your life right now and see when such and such goes, do you feel a little better? Those thoughts are way too heavy to carry in your mind. Put it in a journal like this one. I made it so easy for you to do. You can release your true feelings, resolve negative defeatist thinking, and talk to the most high in the section for daily petition. Congratulations on making your self-care a priority with this purchase of my Truth Tribe Daily Journal, helping you maintain your self-care in three simple steps. So there is a solution. Romans 12, 18 is one of them, but we often skip over the very first word and we just look after the comma. It won't even be realizing we forget the if. We be missing an ifs in the scripture. If he repents, if possible, here in Romans 12, 18. If, circle, I'm circling. If, capital I-F, possible. So far as it depends on you. As it depends on you, because you can't be responsible for other people, Live peaceably with all. If we be missing them ifs. Sometimes it's not possible. The most high ain't forgiving everybody and the most high ain't taking everybody with them. So sometimes it's just not possible. Now make your attempts, but you need to decide what number of attempts you gonna have before you recognize there is no peace here. If possible, if it's not possible, then you gotta redirect your energy before they drive you crazy and you feel like you need to take a pill. Try to take a break and see what you find. You might find out, you know what? I feel a lot better without you. And that's okay. Why do we have to be in relationship with everybody? That's not realistic. It doesn't even mean like we hate people. It's just like, there's no peace here. Take a break and see if you're better off without that person around. And if you find that it is so, make the necessary decisions that you need to make for yourself. And remember, don't let your loneliness make you reconnect with toxic people. 
you shouldn't drink poison just because you're thirsty. And I'm just gonna say, stay hydrated. Stop being thirsty for love and friendship and relationships to the point where you willing to make your soul crazy and be poisoned in order to have it. Don't even be thirsty, stay hydrated by protecting yourself with self-care. What I be trying to help y'all with on this channel. Okay, so what did you find helpful about this video? I would love to know in the comment section or what I would love even more is if you would journal about it because I'm trying to get y'all to like level up on y'all self-care. So what did you learn in this video? Leave me the brief version in the comment section, but share that long version and name some names in your journal. And you can get the official Truth Tribe journal when you look in the description of this video for the link. Plus, there's even more information in there to help support your emotional wellness. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, Truth Tribe, and to everybody else, thanks for watching. Sometimes you keep praying.